the rest listen carefully okay sure. okay so here states that as altitude increases the temperature usually decreases so uh, on an average the rate which the temperature changes with the height in the troposphere is 6.5 celsius per uh, 1000 meters so the diagram below shows the cross section of mount kinabalu which is 4095 meters in sabah with various temperatures at different altitudes the temperature at an altitude of zero meter sea level is 30 so degrees celsius so this is the diagram which states that the when it is at 3000 meters it is 10.5 degrees Celsius, 2,000 meters is 17 degrees Celsius, while at 1,000 meters is, is 23.5 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the first question wants us to write an equation that expresses the temperature T degrees Celsius as a function of the altitude X meters for the situation shown in the diagram above. So here I have uh, written down in a table so we can see clearly the value of the temperature decreases linearly by 6.5 degrees Celsius. So we can uh, determine the function by using the linear equation y equals mx plus c. So here we have, a, so at altitude zero, the temperature is 30. So which means that when it goes, when the altitude increases by 1000 meters, the temperature would decrease by uh, 6.5 degrees Celsius. And it will also decrease so on for 2,000 and 3,000 meters. So here, 30 degrees Celsius is already constant here. So it will become the y-intercept in this equation. And then for the gradient, uh, for here, right, so 6.5 is already our constant decreasing temperature, but n will change as the altitude changes. So here, as you can see in the table, 1,000 meters, the value of n will be 1, and for 2,000 meters, the value of n will be 2. So we can conclude that uh, if altitude decreases by 1,000, it will become just as like this. So we can determine that n equals x over 1,000. Okay, so here I have listed out all the values in this equation so we can start forming the equation. Okay, so here we have x over 1000 uh, times 6.5. There must be a negative sign in front because the temperature is decreasing. So negative 6.5 over 1000 x plus 30 will become negative 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3, negative 3x plus 30. So this is a linear equation formed. Okay, for the next question B, verify that your equation in A is reasonable by using the data provided in the diagram. Okay, so actually this question is just for us to prove that our equation is correct. So as I sub in the values, x equals zero, also at the sea level, the temperature is still 30 degrees Celsius. And then when x is at 1000 meters, the temperature is 23.5 degrees Celsius. And when I sub in x equals 200, 2000, the temperature is 17 degrees Celsius. And then lastly, for x equals 3000 meters, the temperature will be 10.5 degrees Celsius. So as you compare these values to the ones in the textbook, it is the same. So equation T equals negative 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3x plus 30 is proven reasonable. So C, draw a graph that shows the relationship between x and t. Show a clearly defin defined scale, scale on each axis and label your axis. So here I have listed my values in the table. And the scale I'll be using is 2 cm to 1,000 meters on the x-axis, while uh, 2 cm to 10 degrees Celsius on the y-axis. So here is my uh, graph. So I plotted all the points first, and then I drew it in a straight line.
what is the so for d what is a reasonable range for the function tx justify your answer so for this question i use two methods the first method i use is way more accurate i just sub in the value uh, 4095 meters because this value is the maximum height of mount kinabalu so that is our maximum value for the range okay so as i sub in the last answer I got is 3.3825. So I rounded off the value and I got 3.38 degrees Celsius. So my range is 3.38. And then uh, Tx is between 3.38 and 30 degrees Celsius. When x equals 0, temperature will be 30 degrees. So that will be our maximum value for the range. When x equals 4,095 uh, meters, the temperature will be 3.38 degrees Celsius. Then the method, the second method I used from the graph, this is less accurate because my graph uh, is pretty small, the scale I use for it. So if I look from the graph, right, around 4,100 meters over here, it's around 3.8 degrees Celsius. So for the range I got for the second method is Tx is between 3.8 degrees Celsius and 30 degrees Celsius. Okay, for E, what is the gradient of the graph drawn? What is the meaning of the gradient of the graph in terms of temperature and attitude? So the gradient I got is negative 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative three. So if you've forgotten, this is an equation we got just now. X will be the variable and this is the gradient. So the gradient is the rate of decrement of temperature per 1000 meters. When the altitude increases by every 1000 meters, the temperature decreases by 6.5 degrees Celsius. Or you can also say when the altitude increases by every one meter, the temperature decreases by 0 0.0065 degrees Celsius. So for F, what is the y-intercept of the graph drawn? What is the meaning of the y-intercept in terms of temperature and altitude? So the y-intercept we got in the equation just now is 30, which is the initial temperature when you get at the sea level. So the y-intercept is the temperature when altitude is at 0 M. When the altitude is at 0 M or sea level, the temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. G, is it reasonable to assume that temperature always decreases at a linear rate as altitude increases? Explain your answer. So for this question, yes, it is reasonable. So when the altitude increases, the temperature will also decrease linearly. Thus, the altitude and temperature can be related by the linear equation T equals negative 6.5 times 10 to the power of negative 3x plus 30, where T is the temperature and x is the altitude in meters. Uh, are there any questions? Am I explaining too fast? Any questions, girls? You can ask Janine. Are there any questions? Okay, so I think that's all for my presentation. Thank you. Thank you, Janine. Very well explained. I like how you elaborate your answers in your working. Um, so yeah, our happy meal winner. Congratulations. Okay. All right. So today